Like every other 3D software, ZBrush has its own way to apply UVs, materials, and also painting. The painting in ZBrush is called a poly painting. So in chapter 11, we will see how we can create UVs, how we can apply materials, and how we can poly paint. So let's dig in deep and let's learn how we can do that in chapter 11. So now as we have moved to chapter 11, uh, a new chapter which is about the colors, UVs, materials and noise. So let's talk about these things. So many 3D softwares are moving towards physically based materials and real time rendering and which are known as right now PBR. However, ZBrush is sticking with its core functionality of sculpting and modeling while leaving high quality rendering to other programs. So in order to create appearance of real world material, ZBrush has its own material of uh, like library of the material here. So let's uh, look at them. Now by default ZBrush uses uh, this material uh, which you can see right now which is Matcap Red Vex. Okay. And it's kind of a red material uh, which look like a uh, wax sort of feeling at least. So let's uh, go ahead. And click on this material library over here and you can see there are a lot of materials okay so when we click on uh, here you swatch uh, like material swatch we pop up all the different materials that comes with the ZBrush and we can choose from uh, here whatever we want now some people love the red wax material other people hate it if you want something that feels like a little bit more normal like something you might see in Maya or 3D Studio Max, so you can click on the basic material. So basic material, you can find it over here. So it will uh, give you uh, some uh, sort of feeling that you might see in 3D Studio Max or you might see in Maya. So I will click it here, so it will make it something as this. So this is a same thing you might see in Maya or ZBrush, like Lambert or Blend material, uh, those kind of things. Alternatively, there are other materials that have more special effects and you can kind of simulate the appearance of it. Like suppose if you want uh, to make it look like it's made of the gold, so you can select the gold material. Let me increase the subdivision level here so you can see what's going on over here. Okay, so especially subdivision level of the other parts, I will increase it a bit so you can see uh, much more clear. Uh, you know like a result out of here okay so that's enough now uh, once uh, one material the, uh, which I really like to use all the time is known as the skin shade material and it is here in, and it's called skin shade 4 so if I click back here you can see that it's all plain white so this I uh, usually works uh, when working with textures and color and things that is uh, like that are more colorful or something you know uh, actually well bear which have more textures and all those, all those kind of things. So I uh, if I'm using those so I usually stick to the skin shade number four. The great thing about skin shade number four is that it's a pretty light white material and so any colors or texture that you apply to a model won't receive any interference from the shading or highlights or any sort of color built into this material. So that's how it will uh, stick to this uh, part right now. And apart from that, it's a very neutral blank canvas. So you'll notice that anytime I switch to any any kind of a color over here and nicely it takes that color on it okay so let me go back to the white so as you have noticed when i'm switching to any color over here it is changing the color of the whole um, you know uh, my model here if you don't want this you can lock this for instance if i want to lock uh something like this kind of a color okay closer to skin color okay for uh, this 
the uh, like you know skin of this um, model over here so what i can do i can go to the color that i'm looking for right now and after that i have to do what i have to go to my color option on the top and once i will go to the color option over here oh, what i need to do is i just have to press on the fill object over here so as soon i will press on the fill object so what it will do is that it will fill this object with that color now if i will go to any other object say for instance shirt and try to change the color of the shirt so it will only change the color of the shirt okay and not for the part which i have locked now if i want to lock the shirt color i can go back to the color option fill this object okay and now i can go to some other object like suppose the vest and i can choose some other color over here for the vest okay and when i'm done with that if i really like this color or something maybe you can switch to any other color here okay and you can go here color and fill object and then you can switch to other layer and then change that and you know whatever you want and that's how you can keep on going moving from one object to another object inside your subtool panel so this is how all the objects or all the sub tools can be colored in, in, in this way now this is all about uh, locking the colors what if i want to lock the materials to lock the materials what i need to do here is that i have to make sure that i'm on uh, my uh, mrgb channel is on if my mrgb channel is not on so what will happen is that I cannot lock my material. So I will turn on my MRGB and suppose let's go to a demo soldier here and go to the material. And I have one material which is like a poly skin material. So if I will go to the poly skin material, okay, so it will give me something like this kind of a skin tone. Okay, or maybe I can go to matte stuff, cap stuff okay so it will give me something like this but i rather stick to poly skin here so you can see whatever i have used are now in, over here on the top and now i can go back to the color just like what i did before and fill object now this will be filled with the color which i have selected and if i have if i want darker color i, I can go to darker color and then i can do the refill over here okay so fill object if i will do here so it will fill it with the darker but skin tone is not that color so i will undo that now i will go to the shirt now for the shirt maybe i don't want this poly uh you know skin over here for the shirt maybe i will use something that is print here maybe i will use uh let's say what it's good for the shirt here so maybe for the shirt i will stick to something like uh matte cap green or this one okay and whatever color i want for the shirt i can go to that color maybe bluish and then i can go to color and fill that object so that shirt is filled with that uh, that material and with that object so now same thing suppose if i want to go to this uh, shoulder guard okay so i can just press alt on my keyboard click on this one and what if i want to make it uh, gold okay and color i don't want it to be uh, any other color just white okay and if i will go to the color here fill that object and you will notice that this is filled with the gold color backpack should not be gold so i can go and take some other object here and then simply i will go to the color and fill object so this is how you can lock the materials with the color as well now you can also paint with the material inside the z brush now for example i want to paint over this stuff tool which is the vest i'm on the vest right now if you're not you can press alt and click on it so you will move to this part now once you are here and if you want to uh, paint on this object okay you can easily paint uh, on it but first you have to make sure it's a kind of a material that is neutral so i think it's better to switch to a skin shade material here and then take the white color go to the color 
and fill the object. So as soon you will do that, you will get this material object over here. Now, while I was doing this, I was in the RGB uh, channel. Now, what is the MRGB channel? MRGB channel is the channel which take the M, which is your material, and RGB, which is your color. So you can paint with the material and the color at the same time. Okay. But if you only want to paint with the color, so you have to be inside the RGB. And if you want to paint with the material only, so you have to be in the material. Okay. And if you're only painting, but not applying any change on your object, so you have to make sure your sculpting option here, which is Z add to add or Z sub, which is alt key. Okay. So these are unchecked. Otherwise, it will also start giving you sculpting details. But if you don't want the sculpt uh, like sculpting details here, if only you want uh, the colors and all those things, so you have to stick with these uh, options. So right now, let's start painting only the material. Then we will switch to the uh, like uh, MRGB and RGB, so on. So I have to choose any material that I want to paint. Uh, so I will choose this red uh, reflect material here. And as soon as I will get this red reflect material, and I will make sure everything is off from here and my material channel is on. So if I will start painting, you can see it is painting with that. Now you will notice there is some hard edges over here and which you cannot remove because that's how it paints inside the ZBrush uh, because of its subdivision level and those kind of things. So now there is not any way to have a soft fall off over here. You can see it will be always coarse. Okay. So uh, it's always going to be 100% one material or another. There will be no soft fall off or something as this. So as uh, much as, you know, subdivision level you will have it. So the rigid edges will keep on going down, but there will be no soft fall, or like, you know, fall off over here. So there will be no focal shift over here. For example, if I will keep pressing control D on the West, okay, so that I can get more uh, subdivision level. And if I will paint now, so you can see, I don't have that uh, rigid edges anymore, but still I don't have the fall off. So, this is uh, how it usually paints with the uh, materials over here. Now, suppose I don't want this and I'm not happy with this. So still I can go back to skin shade or any other material that you want. And you can go to color and then fill that object and that will be gone. So this is how you can remove it. Now, suppose if you want to uh, paint on the whole object at once, so we can uh, paint that. We can fill every visible subtool at once. So we have to go to the Z plugin over here. Okay. And then in the Z plugin, we have to go to the subtool master. And in the subtool master, you have all these options here. Now, which option we are looking for here is to fill with the color or the material or both at the same time is the fill object here. So if you will click on the fill here. Okay. So if you want material. As we are working on the material right now, I will click on the material and press OK. And what it will do is that it will take this material which I had selected before and it will fill all of them with that. Okay, so if I will switch back here and you can see that uh, it is applied there. Okay, so let me turn this on. So this is basically it that that it didn't uh, work on the shirt. So I don't know for what reason. Let let's go and click on the fill again. Fill press over here. Okay. The thing is that shirt already have the skin uh, shade. Okay, the skin uh, shade number four, but it have a blue color. So that's why it what it did. We chose only the material. We didn't choose the color. So let's go back here. And as we are in the white color here, so if I will go to the Z plugin, go to the fill. And if I want to also choose 
uh, color and material both at the same time I will choose color and material so the color will be the white color and the skin shade will be the, the you know the main material and if I press ok now it will go back again to all of these and fill it with the same shade okay and with the same color so this is how you can easily uh, do that so either material or only color or both at the same time now all of these material that you see over here are very much a superficial effect so you cannot do anything like transparency or semi-transparency you cannot do any true reflective material so there is a uh, material that sort of simulate the reflectivity like if you see the chrome over here if you apply the chrome okay and if you go back here and then you apply that effect on that so you can see it's basically it simulates the reflectivity but it's not actual reflection here okay so however for sculpting purposes these options are sufficient so there suffice to use these when you are doing the sculpting mode okay so i hope you have understood about uh, how to apply different kind of uh, like materials on the you know in your uh, ZBrush and your, uh, in, in your sculptures when you're working on them. So if you have liked this video, please click on the like button. And if you uh, have any question, you can leave in the comment section below. Also click on the bell icon so you can get the notification for the next lesson when I will be uploading. Feel free uh, to share my videos to your friends. And I will highly appreciate if you will uh, give me a shout out for my channel on your uh, social media account. This will uh, give me boost up to get more uh, like viewers and it will help me to create more and more content. So I hope you have understood about how to apply materials inside your ZBrush. So uh, take care till we meet for the next lesson.